Hello friends, welcome to Good Hacker Lead Code Tutorial. Here is time we are going to solve lead code coding problem subsets. So given a set of distinct integers, nums that returns all possible subsets, the power set. Note here the solution set must not contain duplicate subsets. For example, if the input array is called nums and 1, 2, 3, the solution is this array of arrays, so like 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, empty array. So they are all subset arrays put into this big array. So there's no duplicate subset. So like the 1, 3, there's no more like 3, 1. So there's only duplicate, only di distinct subset being, being put in this big array. So subset is a very classical and very typical coding problem about the depth first search. So it evaluates like a job app applicants' uh, skills about recursion. So it's widely being asked during coding interviews. Here, I'm going to draw some picture first to help you understand how to solve this subset coding problem. So suppose we have an uh, input array. So let's assume it's a uh, three, one, two, three elements in array. So here, it's a slightly different from the example provided by the lead code coding problem. So because the coding problem does not guarantee that the input array is a sorted array, so here our first thing we need to do is to convert this array to ascending order. So we are sorting this array to ascending order. So one, two, three. And our goal is to find all subsets for this input array. So remember, this is our goal. And remember that, like empty array at the beginning. So empty array is also a subset for this input array. So we can start from this empty array and do the depth first search to visit each element to do the depth first search and to record each subset to the final results. Final results, that's uh, one we see that's an array of arrays. So all the subsets array will be put into this big results uh, array. So here, we start from the empty array first, and we are going to record it because it's a subset. We add it to the final results. So here, we go into next one. So that's for the zero index. That's one. That's also a subset. We record it. And now our prefix index is zero. So we are continue to do the depth first search. So we are going to move with the next subset. So zero, one, that's an index. We record it. And the prefix index is a zero, one. We continue this way. So one, two, and the next one, that's a three. So that's last element in this input array. So when we wait it, we record it to the results. And we are going back. We are going back. We're going back. We're going back to here. And to move to the next index, next starting index, that's called index one. That's two. And uh, start index is one, and we are going to do the next one, two, three. So index one, two. There's no more elements. We go back. We go back. And remember, we when we visited each subset, we need to record it. So when we go back, and we visited the next last index, that's two index, that's three element and we record it, and we go back, we finish our depth first. So then each subset being put into this final results. So you see here, we always conduct this goal to find all subsets. So like do the depth first search, it's like to constantly checking the all subset of the current subset. Like when we started up, when this index that's a zero, one, and we are going to find all subset from this index. So here, 
it's like we can convert this go to a function to, to a function so that we need to have our parameters so parameters of course the first one would be our input array so let's assume let's call the nums so that's an input array so that's the first one and then second one is a result so results is a final results so our function to find all subsets function we are going to keep updating this final result to add each subset to this final result so subset variable is just a read to visit um, to keep changing to store the value of the each subset so subset is another parameter we are going to add to this function and also there's a one called the start index so start index would be the next one start index is the one we know that which element we are currently visiting and from that index we are continue to do the depth first search so that's all like an input array final results subset and star index that's all four parameters we need to conduct this to build this to find all subset function so here when we go back and we are going to do the coding in java so first remember that the final results for this coding problem output is a list of list of integers so let's start declare this called results so it's a array list and we can have some edge case check first so if this input array is a null or this is a input array without any element that's just an empty array so we can directly return this empty result array list and then as we just mentioned we are going to sort this array first so in java that's array.sort to sort this input array to ascending order and then we are going to have a variable that's called a subset so it's just a list of integer so it's keep changing subset and then we are going to have our own function this this one to find all subsets and uh, as we just mentioned we need to have a uh, four parameters so the first one just an uh, input array and second one is a uh, final results we are keep updating this final results with the current subset we visit and the start index at the beginning the start index is just a zero index and after that our results is being updated so after that we can get the final results all the all the possible subsets for the for the, this input array and we are going to return it for this function so now we need to implement this function so let's have this private method let's call it to find all subsets now we need to have uh, our types integer types array of integers and um, this this integer that's a result second one and list on the integers that's a subset and final one start index so remember that each subset 
we are visiting, we are going to add it to the results. So our first thing we need to do is just to use result to add the subset. But here, pay attention, because subset is a variable that keep changing the reference. So here, we need to have a deep copy when every time we need to add it to the final results. So that would be new array list of subset. And then we are going to have a for loop. So it's index. I start from the star index. And the I is less than nums dot nums. I pass pass. And uh, we are going to add the current element we are with it to the subset. That's just a nums i current element we are visiting. And then we are going to call this function itself to find all subset. So go to the next deeper level to find the all the subsets under this deep first search path. So that's nums results subset. And uh, here the study index will be just this current index i plus 1. That's next level. So that's just a and then when we in, when we have this to find all subsets, when we finish this one, we are going to move back to that we need to remove the last element we currently visited. So that's a subset dot size minus one. That's an index of the last element. So we remove that and back to the for loop to do the next for loop. So that's it. So we uh, can quickly check if there are some typos or so if now, um, now we have the edge case check and we first sorted this array to ascending order and then we were going to have a variable called a subset. That's a variable we continue to change the reference to store each subset to find then we call this private method to find all subset with these four parameters. So all parameters. And this, we have this for loop inside this uh, to find all subset. Subset at the current element we are visiting and keep calling this, this function itself. And then when we go back, we need to remove. Okay, let's click submit. Okay, accept it. So this is a correct uh, solution for this problem. So you might be wonder that, uh, also you might be asked during the coding interview, like what's the time complexity for this coding problem? So you can think of this way. So here, um, so suppose we have uh, this uh, input array, that's um, three, uh, one, two, three. So we are going to have a 2 to n subsets. So for this 1, 2, 3, you will see this, this uh, just a 2, 3, that's um, 8 subsets. You can see from this example, that's a 8 subsets for this uh, input array. So 8 input, that's 2 to n. And uh, for the each subset, um, we need to call this to find all subsets. So this is a function that is called during each subset uh, loop. So here, you see here, there's a for loop. And you can see this, um, this is a linear time complexity. So that for each one, that would be n. So n multiply 2 to n would be the final time complexity for this or this uh, subset coding problem and multiply the each, all the subsets 
all the subset, and for the each subset, we are going to have this um, n linear time complexity. So that's in all, that's n multiplied two to n time time complexity. So here, okay, that's all about this coding problem. So thank you for your watching. So this is a good taker. So if you have some comments, if you have some suggestions, just uh, leave comments under this video or on the website. So I will take a look at to improve the video tutorial quality. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you for your subscription. So see you next time.